What's up guys, Ali Nadam here. In this video, it's gonna be real short. I'm gonna show you how to delete all the slice markers in Edison. So if you've ever experienced this problem, this problem arises when you guys export individual stems or just any audio in FL Studio and you're left with tons of markers, most of them not needed, not wanted. And it's usually the result of making a lot of cuts in your audio, a lot of slices in it. And it still leaves the slice markers in there. So slice markers are great to demonstrate when something is starting. So when you export a song and you want it to be in sync with the playlist, slice markers are used for that purpose. Um, it's also why they appear when you record in Edison. Now here what I have to demonstrate is this file where it has tons of slice markers in it. So if you guys want to delete the slice markers very easily, just double click, right click and hit edit. This audio file, all you got to do is hit control shift delete. So control shift delete will take away all the slice markers. And at that point, I would hit control A and drag it back into the original file to make the changes. And voila, there you go. We've gotten rid of that. So it's a really nice trick. It's uh, something that um, I don't see a lot of people talk about, but it's it's good if you don't want to get bombarded by so many slice markers, especially if you're working with a lot of files. It's going to make the experience much cleaner. Now, of course, you can also go back. So let's hit control alt Z, hit that twice. You could delete these individually, but it can again be a big problem if you are dealing with a lot of slice markers. So I can see that definitely being used a lot if you guys have a lot of instrumentals and you don't want those slice markers in them. It's just the visual at the end of the day, but keep that in mind. Just control shift delete, hit control A, drag it back into your file and you're all set. So guys, I'm going to be making so many tutorials, uh, a lot of sound design and review tutorials. So let me know your suggestions. Let me know of stuff you want me to review, uh, anything you want me to talk about in FL Studio. I would love to hear uh, from you guys, your guys' feedback. Make sure you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, smash that dislike button and uh, make sure you're subscribed. More stuff is coming in the future and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep making them gains.